All right, we're back for part two now of our video. Danny just explored, finished up her turn here in this room. Um, so I already fought, right? Yes. Okay. You All went right. First. I went fought first and fought the big snake. She went, so we're gonna do the mythos phase now. Mm. Okay. Creatures fill the air, wispy and floating aimlessly. The mythos event affects each investigator in the office. Okay. Quite a coincidence, you just went there. Trying to catch them is tempting, but the capric capricious wisps evade capture. Wheel of two. Right, okay. okay, there's two. Uh, if you pass, the tiny beings fade from ex existence. Mm. Okay. So we have no idea what this safe is then. We have no, no. we haven't found any clues or anything that, are, yeah. Is there, do you have like a book or something? Or? No, we don't have a journal or anything in the app. Like I said, I don't think we found anything. I, I think we found some things before, but if I remember right, it, we couldn't, it was like impossible to find, uh, the combination. And I think that's why we failed because we couldn't find the combination. I think we actually did it though. I can't remember. All right, so let's yeah. move for me then. So that's the safe. That's so. Maybe 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 we never unlocked her. Maybe she had it. I can't remember. All right. So the best I can do is I can move here, which could move you if you wanted. I think I'm done moving this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you could move for free if you wanted. No. Get you, well, you get you one here and then you could backtrack because like you said, you might not go anywhere else. Um, well, let's see what that is first. You may not need to waste. Well, I think both of those were important. That's a lock box, yeah. yeah. So why don't you move one so you're, then you can come back this way. Yeah. Like I said, if you're not done. All right, so I moved one. Another room, okay, let's explore it. Okay, go ahead and do that. The hallway is dusty, old, broken. Hallway floor. end, is that what I'm looking for? Hall end, yeah. Okay. Oh, right there. Broken furniture litters the floor. A door and a wall, too. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna match. Are we overlapping these? I think we're overlapping those, yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. So you're blo which is weird because you're blocking this one. Oh, there's an orange door there, so. Yep. Okay, so we're taking that. Yeah, so it's weird. You're putting a door here and then you're blocking the door that they had. Mm. Okay. All right, so put that there. Okay, continue. We need a question mark, a locked desk is pushed against the wall. Its legs have been carved into the shape of frolicking satyrs that are now chipped and worn. The lock on it is rusted shut from years of disuse. Place a search. Several loose floorboards in the hall. Mm. So I can't remember, yeah, it says you could place something there. I think if I put something there, then you yeah. could pick that up. All right, we don't really need All to. All right, I need two more lanterns. And a barricade, so lantern and a lantern. Barricade. And a barricade in that room, yep. All right, I can move one in. So I moved one, I have still one more movement left. Move into there. Okay, you're up. Okay. Okay. Let's see oh, let's see. I ended in this room, I'm not taking claustrophobia. Okay. Lock box covered in strange ruins is abandoned. We attempted to decipher the ruins to open the lock box. Puzzle. Okay, so again, this is the ones, this is the symbol puzzle. And if we did this, you would only get to try like two times per, yeah. per turn. All right, so. I'm kind of good at these though. Well, we've gotten good because we basically just do, we see if there's any greens. 
Okay, so we know there's a green somewhere. somewhere. And then we go with, then we usually do all the next color. Okay, so there's none of those. Again, we're not very cryptic at this. We just, okay, so there's two of those. All right, so there's three greens and two blues. How would there be three greens? Well, okay, there's one green and two blues. I meant three altogether. All right, so there's one of each. Except yellow. Okay, so there's no tan or yellow. All right, so we just kind of start here. We know there's two, yeah, two blues, one of each other. Okay, so this also tells us it's the correct symbol, so we already knew that. So two of them are in the right spot, which we don't know. So then we just move the green down a space each. Okay, that didn't help. Okay, only one is in the right position. That didn't really help either. So let's see if the green... And again, somebody else probably has some better way to do this. We're horrible. So two of those are in the right spot. <laughs> Man, this is hard with three color three colors. We need we to put the blues on the ends. Blues on the ends. Okay, none of those are in the right spot. Mm. Okay. Maybe. Blue, red, okay, so blue. let's. Well, have we done this? Have we tried this technique before? Oh, you have to put all. Okay, so we know. That, okay, so we know none of those are there. Okay, so this will tell us if we get the elder sign. Then we know what spot it goes in. So this should be. Okay, yeah. so the green is in the last spot. So we know that's there. Okay, actually we can do the same thing with red because there's only one red. We know it's not the last spot. Okay, so the it's probably red, green, and then the two blues. There we go. <laughs> Again, we're not maybe the most that was 15. very scientific with this, but okay, inside the lock spot is a tarnished silver key. Okay, um, and then just discard that token. Who was it, you? Yeah. Okay. Where's the gold key? I might as well get that out. Cause... Okay, there's the silver key. All right, so we don't know, though, where a silver key's going to go. All right, that was one turn, so you can, I guess, just move and because you'll probably want to look at that. Let's see, that question mark here. Ancient apartment, who knows what's on that. We probably need it. Yeah. All right. Tell me if I went or not. You went. Okay, all right. So I'm just always going You're for going first. Okay, all right. You feel truly safe only when you have something to hold on to against the panic. The mythos of X, the investigator with the most common. Well, you've got a crap load of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. A sudden start causes you to drop objects, the object in your hand, and before you check yourself, your heel crunches against the part. Agility of two. If you pass, it's still salvageable. If you fail, you have to discard a random item. Yeah. Two. I haven't eaten. There you go. All right. Usually I end up dropping everything. A sudden shrill scream is followed by a thud, though the occasional cr though the occasional crash still comes through this room. The noises have mostly stopped. The spectral figure of a maid rises up from the floorboards. Her face is twisted in one of anguish, spawn a ghost. Doesn't look like a maid to me. Of course, it's in. I went to the haunted part. Yeah, I went to the. Yeah, I went to the alternate mansion. Okay, the ghost moves one space. Oh, let's imagine that. <sighs> then attacks with a high strength well. You're the only one. Yeah, the, it's a six, man, that ghost. Monster attacks. The spirit stands above a spectral vision of your body, hacking it to pieces. Again, it yells. 
looking up at you. Must we do this again? Influence. Influence of two. Ugh. Three or four. I gotta convince it to stop beating me up. What's that? You said it's a four? Yeah. Your influence. Can you look at the no, oh. it's the second from the bottom. The oh. three. Mine is terrible. But we are in the mythos space, so actually, oh, I get to roll because of the disc of It's a Mama. What did I need? A two? Yeah. What if you, I spent them on beating up that snake. Remember, I had to do it so I could one-shot the snake. Yeah. Let's see, so if I pass, you convince the spirit that the cycle is over and it begins to fade. If you fail... Uh, it's only more enraged and attempts to calm you, you know, it resumes to chop you to pieces. Take two damage. So I spend a clue, nothing, or I take two damage. Honey, you should probably spend it. What's that? You should probably spend it. Well, I might, I might need to spend it to defeat it. Because uh. if I don't, the it's going to keep beating, it's probably, it's a six health, it's probably going to take me two turns to... I'm afraid if I don't use this to maybe do the attack, yeah. to make a better attack, ah, uh, I'll take two damage. Flip one other fam damage face up, then discard this, okay. Flip this card face down. So I put this here because this says if I ever have to flip it up, no additional effect. So yeah. it's kind of cheating, but we, we use it to remember not which really. is our good or bad ones. Okay, I guess not, all right. I'm not cheating if you just say you. So then, if we did the mythos face, it would basically attack me again, or the horror chick, which is totally cheap. Okay, so I'm going first. Yes. Okay. All right, so we're attacking the ghost. Um. Again, fire extinguisher survival. Um, let's go with the fire extinguisher heavy weapon. Your weapon passes harmlessly through the spirit, but the apparition wails in dismay as you crush some forgotten curio in your zeal. Um, the book is lore. Oh. Lore of two. I have to have a perfect roll. Oh. I can't even use this. Uh, I was hoping at maybe least one. Should, maybe I should just give you my cigarette case. Maybe you should drop that. Yeah, yeah. so I pick this crap up. Um, if you, if you fail, you have no idea why you thought your weapon could hurt a spirit. <laughs> Idiot. Are you trying to stab him? Or? I had the fire extinguisher. All right, so here's second action. So it's Stupid. gonna, yeah, it's gonna be at least, it's gonna come back and hit me. All right, bladed weapon. You stab at the creature, but your hand just passes through it. A painful chill runs up your arm. A will of four. If you pass, you fight off the feeling in the sight of the and the sight of your inter, in, intersecting form serves as a sudden grim reminder of the spirit's violent passing. The monster suffers three damage. Mm. So I need a two. Alright, well I'm spending that for that. Turn that. So that's a pass, so it'll take three of the six. Alright, that's all I can do. Okay. Now it's your turn. I do know that. All right, you're going to look at that question mark? Yes. Okay. I'm sure it'll remove. All right, here we go. The writing is definitely in English, but is far from a time, is from a time when the language and its writing was quite different, making it hard to interpret. So lore, we don't know. What's your, what's your spell that you have? We've forgotten that. Uh, you were another investigator with enraged. Discard one horror. Oh, that Discard would have been nice. With flesh. That would be nice. They purposely gave us a spell knowing we'd probably not be in the same. Okay, two. So two? Two, okay. All right, you decipher the old text. I hath, I hath hidden away that accursed idol of which my son's wife was so fond. That heirloom of my house would be so evilly used plagues me. None but my blood shall ever find it again. Though the totem appears on our arms no less than four times, it is become mystery to those unworthy of its power. Uh, conclusive evidence and two clues. Wow. Nice. Yeah. I don't even need my cigarette yeah. case at this point. All right, conclusive evidence. 
thing is we've gotten no closer to figuring out this possible lock. All right, so now we are done. Oh, wait, no, that was only one thing. Yes. You're already there, so you could move up to three. Just move there. There, okay. All right. When the scream begins, you believe it to be a human being crying out in fear. By the time the last echoes die, you can only conclude as some sort of wild beast, far closer than you would like. Each investigator suffers a face down horror. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm almost done. That's my first one. All right. It's another snake creature. A cry of terrible. The cry of a terrible creature echoes through the house. A temple guardian. Are you serious? It's there. Yes, it is. Yeah. You are in the alternate dimension. Yes. Of monsters. I don't know what else. The portal. Say. Yeah. The portal flares and shifts rapid different colors. A moment later, sigils appear for seeking and finding floor the floor of the hall. Then they fade. No effect. The ghost moves one towards me and attacks. Hell yeah. The spirit walks. Slowly towards you, you feel a sudden rolling nausea and the urge to flee becomes overwhelming. A will of two. Nice. Oh, well, where was that? Okay, if you pass, you fight your fear and stand your ground. Boom. Oh, come join the party. Sure. Is that a door? Yeah, that's a door, of course. Moves one space. Oh, I'm so lucky. Move again. Yeah, well, it says no investigator in the space, and it usually says it moves <laughs> one towards the nearest investigator, of course. Hello. Can you use a new anything? Uh, I might have bumped something. Huh. May I, I kind of, with the, my hand, I might, I might have bumped something. I don't care. All right. Great. I'm moving your hands around so much. All right, I know. Okay, so, well, let's see if we can finish the ghost. It only needs three. So attack the ghost with a knife, sure. Silly, I know, app. Holding the blade before you like a crucifix, you beg the apparition to depart. Influence plus one. That's, influence is a three, plus one is four. Test results. Oh. Oh, it's just my test results, which yeah. two. <sighs> okay, so it's got one left, so second one. Let's attack it again. Sure, with the knife. That works so well. So you whisper influence. a prayer into your weapon and lash out. Influence of three. I need to pass a two. Ghost there we go. Why wasn't that last turn? If you pass, the blade seems to cut through the creature, although you suspect it was your words that did the most harm. Suffers two damage. Bye-bye, ghost. Praying into your knife. Yeah. Well, well, hello there. How are you doing? All right. Wish I would have known that I was going to do all the fighting. I would have taken the shotgun. Or, well, I guess I could have taken the shotgun. All right, let's move I the wrap. No, through the portal hole. Yeah. Cigarette case at this point. I have six clues. Yeah. If I had that massive shotgun, I could probably be destroyed. I mean, that's six damage. Yeah. Okay. All right. What are you doing? Are you exploring this? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Loud crashing sounds from coming from this room where you early heard a woman's voice. Okay. I'll find the tile. What is it? Um. Uh, bedroom one. Bedroom one. Okay. The bedroom furniture is overturned. Books, papers, and other personal effects are everywhere. Okay, just so we know, this, these are technically not connected. Yeah. Um, the bed is over on that side, okay. Guess I need to move all this here. The body of a young woman in a blood-stained maid's outfit lies on the floor. She clutches something small in her left hand. Place the elder ward. Ooh. Okay. That is roll one additional die when a monster is attacking you. Not bad. A woman searches in and under furniture with, a, with an almost a desperate zeal. With this deep one. Mm. Time. Shoot him. 
Yeah, can you could. she go through the door? Mm, I think so. Someone's journal is still lying on the floor. It has a bright scarlet cover. There. Tarnished silver keyhole glints from where it is set. The where it is set in the floorboards under the bed. This is it. I have the silver key, though. Oh, perfect. I can move in. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is like Gloomhaven where if you were in the space that it mattered, like fighting. Yeah. Um, I guess it's considered attack. Yeah, I don't think it matters. You could use the gun in that space, I think. I don't think it mattered. Nice. Okay, all right. Did Myth you, uh, what no, did you, do you explored and moved. Uh, so if I guess if you wanted to shoot through the door. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Well, no. Well, it gave me. It oh, let you, me move in there. You let you move in there. Yeah. Okay, so you can fight him. Yeah. Okay. So you can fight him. Four. Four. Physical firearm. You you train your eyes on the your target and squeeze out the shot. Agility. Two. Okay. If you pass, impact staggers your foe. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapons. Six. Yeah. Okay. Take him out. That was easy. Yeah, great. One shot. Yeah. And our phase. You had not noticed before, but there's something strange about the walls in this room. The mythos affects the bedroom one person, which is you. The more you study them, the more the walls look yellowed. An awful pattern of grooves suggests claw marks suffer too horror and your willpower negates. Investigation. Observation. What do I need? You need a two horror to negate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, hello, Temple Guardian. Okay. He's already there, he will attack me. Temple Guardian frees in place looking as, as inanimate, looking as if it's an inanimate pillar. What is with this freaking influence? Influence of two. It's like I keep talking they to these- want to talk. I, Yeah, I keep talking to these monsters. Okay, wow, it's a good thing. If you pass, you identify the ruse and are prepared when it suddenly strikes. Um, Uh, if you fail, you are alerted in a false sense of safety and do not see the stone hand that descends from above. So I, I guess the nothing, yeah. And the horror check, which we're skipping, and end. All right, so. First. Did I do any damage to this dude? No. No. I used my bug. Four, yeah. okay. All right, let's knife him. Bladed weapon. Your blade seems ineffective again. Oh, that's right, it's a freaking stone snake. Should have bashed it with my. Okay, it's punishing me now, making me use my lore because I'm stupid. <laughs> fail. If you fail, the wounds you inflict are do not trouble. Yeah. Okay. So we're attacking with the Can fire. You stab a stone yeah. With a snake? I forget that it's a stone snake. It, Look at it. Yeah. Heavy weapon. Fire extinguisher. As you swing at your foe, the sweat on your palms threatens to loose the weapon from your grasp. Great. Strength of one. Or a pass. I only have one. Get that. Well, you'd think so. If you pass, you manage to keep a hold long enough to connect with your enemy. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. It's so only a two. Do you have my shotgun? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm done. That's it for me. All right, what are you gonna do? Explore that question mark? Yeah. Okay. The journal lies on the floor. You're gonna search for an action. You flip through the journal. This is gonna be a unique item. Um, flip the journal. 
gain feed the mind spell. Spells are up top, most of them. Jeez. As you look over the book, you realize it belongs to Lady Helena. Gain the in incriminating evidence, unique item. Um, then discard this token. An investigator holding the incriminating evidence, unique item may read it by interacting with the app. All right, so you have an action left. Let's. I think you should look at it and see what... Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's bright scarlet as an action. Okay, so you're using action to read the journal. Okay, so this might have stuff in it we gotta remember. Well, we can always look back. Uh, in, interspersed with notes from her day life for basic spells and rituals, it appears Lady Helena is studying magic despite the risk. There are two things in particular that stand out to you. Her mother, who intentionally taught her magic, mentioned a great relic of the house, a statue if ever found it's gotta be in the freaking safe. They keep talking about the statue. A uh, statue that I found would increase her powers tenfold. More mundanely, you find Lady Helena recently complaining about a fine, strange keyhole on the floor of her bedroom and cracks developing behind the bookshelf in the hall. Gain two clues. Oh my gosh. Dang it. You never even need them. I guess that's it. Man. I don't know what else to find. You know, I just stick all my clues in the Okay, so you got, you got something else. You got another move. Or an action. Over there. Okay. All right, we're both done. The cheap item snaps as Rita Young tries to lift it. Unfortunately, it's now completely useless. Discard one common item. Random. Random? Yeah. You gotta discard it. Mm. The rest are spells or uniques. Mm, All right, sure it's gone. Yeah, so you're gonna lose something. It's not just fall on the floor, it's done. Okay. Here we go. I'm Come on, okay. flip it. Yeah, I like to hold the gun. Yeah. Okay. I got my shot. All right, so the monster's gonna beat up on me. Here we go. I do get an extra die with my disc of It's a Mama. <laughs> Large boulder lifts a boulder above your head, dropping it directly on top of you. Suffer three damage or strength negates. Four or five because I have the mama relic or disc. What did I need? Three. It's going to take three. Okay, all three success. Whew. My head's too hard for that. Dirty. And a horror check, which we're skipping. All right, I got to take this guardian out. Jeez, okay. Well, I'm not going to try and stab it. I've learned that. Knock him out. All right. I've only got two out of the four on him. All right. The enemy braces to intercept your swing. You attempt to drive your weapon right through the, through the block. Strength of passive two. <sighs> if you fail, your foe catches your wrist too early for you to build a momentum. Attack again. Heavy weapon. Your enemy braces to intercept your swing and you attempt to drive your weapon through the block. Great. Try and attack again. Thank goodness. Two. If you pass your weapon, crushes through your first raise arm. Suffrage damage to the weapon damage plus your test. Get out of here. I crush that rock into pieces. No. To rubble. God, it's just taking me three turns to do that. Okay, where am I at? So that question mark for me... What is this? Do we not put a door there? Uh, we must not have. There should be a yeah a lantern there for. Huh. Okay. So the question mark is a locked desk. Yeah, I've got to search it. Or no, I can't. Not too bad. My turn's done. All right, the lock is destroyed. You sent, if I don't do it, it's gonna ruin the game. So I'll just take one less action next turn. Yeah. Um, oh, that's right, password reminder. First two numbers, the shield. The last number is how many times the statue in the is in the house arms. Oh, okay. I think it's like five. In the, in the, I think it was somewhere around here. 
um, the parchment. Gonna... I get. I, I do get two fine. clues. It said something about. Okay, so let's, okay. Scribbled on the back of the menu is a short note, password reminder. The first two numbers, the shield. They keep talking about the coat of arms. I don't think we've seen that. And then well, the last the two portrait. numbers. So, oh wait, no. Then discard it. Okay, so I gained two clues. So the problem is we can, yeah. Okay, so the shield and the numbers on the arm, we've got to remember that somehow. Well, I know that on the arms it's five. Are you sure? Where did, yeah. I don't, I, in the parchment, something you in remember? this room. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember that. I have good memory. All right, so that was one. So this is a, there's a door there. There's supposed to be a wall here. I can't go through there. So that's where the safe is. Oh, there it is, there it is, okay. Oh, it's because all the monsters in the room shifted everything around. I'm just trying to think. I mean, I've got so many things I can go, I can go. I guess let's try this, let's try this one here. All right, let's explore that. Okay, books are stacked upon all around the room. Discard this and place the library tile. So it's actually going yeah that way. Okay. Need a question mark. Several books are here. And a torch is also there. Yeah, we have lots of torches from the ruins from exploring that ruin. Yeah. And then I can move one. Okay, so I'm done. What are you doing? Uh, I guess we're checking out this. Checking out the bed? Yeah. Okay. A tarnished silver keyhole set in the floorboard under the bed without the key. All right, you have the key, so we'll go ahead and do that search. Okay, it's a trap door. You put the key in the lock and you hear a click. On a hunch, you pull up the key and manage to lift the entire segment of the floor, revealing a heavy trap door concealing a hidden tunnel below. You, you lower yourself in the darkness to determine where exactly it leads. Discard this, place the secret passage. And it goes to here. When the original works, shall the roof swing open, the tunnel ends here. Place the secret passage here, then move your investigator figure into that space. So you, um, so you mm -hmm. left the elder, elder ward behind. Uh, what did I do? Not many monsters are attacking me, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I finish. Yeah. Well, no, you just searched. Do you still have a move then, or? I can move three. Yeah, one, one two. Back over here. Two okay. Back. Yeah, it's just gonna. There. Yeah, I'll probably loop around those. All right, so Mythos phase. You are weary to the bone and your strength is now ebbing. Each investigator flips two damage face up. Oh, no additional effects. That's why we turned that. The portal flares and shifts rapid, different colors. A moment later, sigils for seeking and finding floor flow over the floor. No, then they fade. No immediate effect. Back to us. All right, we've played another half an hour, so we'll take a little break here and pause and... Add part three later. So if you join us for part three, we'll see you in just a few minutes.